my creative friends. Today I'm going to walk you through making this layout. It's called the envelope layout and it's part of our new Everyday Moments Cricut Collection by Close to My Heart. So this is what the layout looks like when you bring it into your Cricut design space. I'm trying to move it over here on the video and um, it's not working so well, but that's left hand side of the page and I have gone ahead and cut this all out. Um, I have used French vanilla as my base and then underneath it's actually backed or bottomed with um, with a cardstock called paprika. It's a pretty orangey color. I just set my iPad up out of the way here because I need to refer to this um, and you'll see me go back from time to time because I need to look at the picture for reference of how this goes together. From this point on I'm just going to speed up the video a little bit to save us some time. I am now working on one of the two envelopes. This was cut out of our peach cardstock, and you'll notice that it's two tones all of our cardstock. It's very pretty. I decided to put the darker, darker cardstock on the outside of the envelope, and I still get to see a little bit of the lighter peach. Very pretty, but I think I think the darker side was the best um, best option for me. So I'm just laying out the pieces. Like I said before, we are just going to get a handle on how everything fits and flows on the layout here. These are um, photo mats that are cut from saffron paper cardstock. This is a mint piece that you see me adhering down now. I just felt it was better to adhere the bigger pieces first whenever possible. And this piece here I guess you could use for extra photos or you could use for some journaling, whatever, whatever you felt like doing. Now I'm just going to adhere down this pretty little doily that I've cut from our mint cardstock one of our photo mats and I think that's a good placement. I always put down some photo placeholders, the white pieces, just to know where the photos are supposed to go. And then this layout even has that cute little leafy piece that I've just put down. There's lots of little individual elements that you could use for other projects which you might see me do in the future. A lot of fun to play with all these little bits and pieces but I kind of like the collage aspects of this layout. So I'm just going to stick a couple photo mats there and I want you to know that what I plan on doing in that envelope is actually cutting a slit in my page protector so that I can take those photo placeholders or photos in the future in and out of my page. Now there's just a few little details here. These little corner rounds, aren't they cute? They cut out too right out of this layout. I love that you just, you hit make after you load up the design and it tells you what color cardstock is suggested. It, you know, it gives you a sample of the color. These little photo turns show up just a touch lighter than the photo mats behind them. So I knew to use the lighter side of the cardstock. Now you'll see me on this left hand side page. I always try to put my photo mats top and bottom and then center the middle piece that I have equal spacing. That's just my own little trick that I do. There's no real measurement to this. I just see what looks good. So now I'm adhering down the, the larger envelope and I still wasn't happy with where this photo mat and everything ended up. So I'm just lifting it and just wiggling it over. I thought I needed a little more room between the envelope and those photo mats. They were right on top of each other the way I had originally placed it. Okay, so now I'm going to probably go ahead here and put those extra little photo mats into the envelope. And again, I plan on cutting that piece of my page protector to let those slide in and out. The little scalloped piece is cut out of mint. And there is a little tag that I could put a title onto or maybe a date, whatever I felt like putting on here in the future. I loved that this layout was very, very... I'm going to call it generic, but I don't mean that in a, in a negative way. I like that you could put any subject matter on this layout and that there was, you know, that open endedness as to what title I want to be that you could put on here. What I wanted to put on in the future might not be what I put on right now. So I left that blank for the moment. These photo turns, aren't they cute? I'm adhering them just with a little tiny dot of glue. This way I can still go ahead in the future and slide my photos right in underneath those. So just the tiniest little um, dot of our mono liquid glue. I use the uh, dual glue here. And see, just a little dot. I found that it was easier to then just put the dot 
onto the photo placeholder rather than trying to do it the other way. It just seemed to work better for me, but I learned that a little too late in this layout, right? <laughs> so I'm going to adhere down the rest of those and our layout is nearing completion. So let me move that iPod out, iPad out of the way. There's a few more little tiny details here, that pretty little paprika heart. What I also decided to do in this layout, as, as I, you see me adhering down these little details, I moved a few things around, not very much. I really like the entire placement of the items that Close to My Heart suggested on the cartridge. Now, um, in the future, you'll see a photo, a still photo. And what I decided to do was I decided that I wanted to use a negative um, heart that's cut out of that little house. I cut a second one too because I decided to put one of each of those on the envelope just to give it a little more interest. And then those little tiny hearts that came out of the uh, little embellishment that's on the side of the bottom right photo mat, those hearts I eventually ended up sticking down onto the mint scalloped border on the left page. So you just caught a glimpse there too of the paprika on the back. And here is our completed envelope layout. I hope that you've enjoyed watching this video of how I assembled my envelope layout. If you would like more information about purchasing the Everyday Moments Cricut collection, I am including my Cricut affiliate link in the description of the video below. Once you click on that link, it'll bring you over to your Cricut account and you will be able to purchase this collection right from your Cricut website. It's only available through consultants like myself, and I hope that you go ahead and purchase. I would love it if you would purchase through my link because it helps me to bring you more of these videos. So have a creative day, ladies. Thank you for watching.